I'm just going to record this for my own personal study. Um, today is October 13th, 2019. And my, seat, my shirt says, My Kind of Happy Hour. Bodybuilding.com. Proverbs 31. The words of Lemuel, king of Mesa, which his mother taught him, What my son, what son of my womb, what shall I advise you, son of my vows and dedication to God? Give not your strength to loose women, nor your ways to those who and that which ruin and destroy kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. Emil, it is not for kings to drink wine or for rulers to desire strong drink. Let's say drink and forget the law and what it decrees and pervert the justice due any of the afflicted. Give strong drink as medicine to him who is ready to pass away and wine to him in bitter distress of heart. Let him drink and forget his poverty and seriously remember his want and misery no more. Open your mouth for the dumb, those unable to speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are left desolate and defenseless. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and administer justice for the pure, poor and needy. A capable, intelligent, and virtuous woman, who is he who can find her? She is far more precious than jewels, and her value is far above rub rubies or pearls. The heart of her husband trusts in her confidently and relies on and believes in her securely so that he has no lack of honest gain in need of dishonest pull. She comforts, encourages, and does him only good as long as there is life within her. She seeks out wool and flax and works with willing hands to develop it. She is like the merchant ships loaded with flood stu foodstuffs. She brings her household's food from a far country. She rises while it is yet night and gets spiritual food for her household and assigns her mates their task she considers a new field before she buys or accepts it expanding prudently and not courting neglect of her present duties by assuming other duties with her savings of time and strength she plants fruitful vines in her vineyard vineyard she girds herself with strength spiritual mental and physical fitness for her God-given task, and makes her arm strong and firm. She tastes and sees that her gain from work with and for God is good. Her lamp goes not out, but it burns on continually through the night of trouble, privation, or sorrow, warning away fear, doubt, and distaff. But yeah, distrust. She lays her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She opens her hand to the poor. Yes, she reaches out her filled hands to the needy, whether in body, mind, or spirit. She fears not the snow for her family, for all her household are doubly clothed in scarlet. She makes her self coverlets, cushions, and rugs of tapestry, her clothing is of linen, pure and fine, and of purple, such as that of which she, of which the clothing of the priest and the hollowed clo clo cloths of the temple were made. Her husband is known in the city's gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes fine linen garments and leads others to buy them. She delivers to the merchants, gir girls, or sashes that free one up for service. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and her position is strong and secure. She rejoices over the future. 
the latter day or time to come, knowing that she and her family are in readiness for it. She opens her mouth in skillful and godly wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness, giving counsel and instruction. She looks well to how things go in our household, and the bread of idleness, gossip, discontent, and self-pity she will not eat. That's me. That's this household. Her children rise up and call her blessed, happy, fortunate, and to be envied. And her husband boasts of and praise her, saying, Many daughters have done virtuously, nobly, and well with the strength of character that is steadfast in goodness, but you excel them all. Charm and grace are deceptive, and beauty is vain because it is not lasting. But a woman who reverently and worshipfully fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates of the city. Philippians 4, 8. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence, and is honorable and seemingly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue and excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think on and weigh and take account of these things. Fix your mind, minds on them. Philippians 4 9 practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and model your way of living on it and the God a peace of untroubled troubled undisturbed well-being will be with you Proverbs 31